This video is an introduction to diffraction. So let's say that we have an incoming plane wave. These lines would be the wave fronts. So if we're going to put a barrier with an opening in the front of this plane wave, the wave would actually bend around the edges. This tendency for waves to bend is called diffraction. To predict this bending, we can place a high gain emitter along the wave front. We know that then we would place wavelets around the high gain emitters, and these wavelets are circular. The net result would be that the waves can get into the region behind the barrier, which is like the wave can get around the corners of the barrier, thus resulting in a circular wave. The degree to which a wave bends around the edges is based on the size of the opening compared to the wavelength. If the wavelength is small compared to the opening, there will be very little diffraction. And if the wavelength is large compared to the opening, there will be a greater degree of refraction. An interesting application of diffraction is when you think about your experiences hearing and seeing around corners of a building. You are able to hear someone talking around the corner of a building because the wavelength of sound is around 1 to 2 meters, which is around the same size as the opening of a corner. So the sound waves are able to diffract around the corner and you can hear the person talking. Light, on the other hand, is a very small wavelength, which is approximately 10 to the negative 7 meters. Since light's wavelengths are small compared to the opening around the corner, there is no diffraction. If there was diffraction, we would actually be able to see those people who were talking around the corner, which we know is not possible. So Thomas Young in 1801 used diffraction and interference to prove that light was a, is a wave. His experiment is also known as the double slit experience experiment. We already discussed how one wave will diffract around an opening, but if you place a second opening we will and send in two wave, or one wave, we end up with two diffracted waves of the same frequency, which will result in a standing wave that has nodes and antinodes. For light in Young's experiment, the nodes and antinodes were present in the areas of bright and dark fringes within the light. The areas of darkness are when there was destructive interference within the dis diffracted light waves, and the areas of light are where there was constructive interference within the diffracted light waves.